Today we're making a spicy, tangy, sweet Thai dipping sauce that is the perfect complement for fresh seafood. It also has a really nice fresh bite to it and is super easy to make. So yeah, let's go! This dipping sauce is similar to my yam mama sauce, the link somewhere here, and it has your typical Thai flavors of spicy, sweet, and sour. For the sour, we have lime juice. Let me go ahead and juice this. Then you're also going to need Thai bird's eye chilies, depending on your spice tolerance. Now I'm going to be adding three of these today. For that burst of freshness, I'll be adding a coriander to the sauce. Lots of it. You can stop there but I will be adding a lemongrass, two stalks of it, remove the hard outer layer and we're just going to be using the more fragrant bottom part. I'm just cutting mine with scissors, it helps with the uh, blending process. I'm also going to be adding some kaffir lime leaves for even more added fragrance. Okay, you can use a pestle and motor but I'm just using a blender this time around, can't be bothered. Add the lemongrass, bird's eye chilies, kaffir lime leaves. Now for the kaffir lime leaves, do make sure you remove the hard middle layer and just use the leafy part like this. And then we add the lime juice. And finally, for the seasoning, we're going to be adding a fish sauce and sugar as well. Finally, I add in lots and lots of a garlic. I love garlic. And let's go ahead and blend all of that up. When it's blended to a nice consistency, that's when I added in the coriander. If you have a bigger blender, then sure, you can add the coriander right from the get-go. That's better. And just like that, the dipping sauce is done. Let's go ahead and prepare the seafood. I have some blood cockles today because apparently this is trendy but yeah, usually I just boil up whatever seafood I have. To prepare the cockles, give them a good wash, soak them in some salt water and then we boil them for about 5 minutes or so. Easy. I also have a video here somewhere with a more in-depth uh, method of cooking the cockles. <music> You can uh, grill them, steam them, pop them in the oven But at home, I just like to boil them, it's just the most easiest I have some shrimps here And I also have some sliced fish Apparently, the trendy way to prep the cockles is to remove the top part of the shell And kind of arrange it in a plate like this this takes a while guys, I'm not gonna lie. I regretted this halfway but I committed myself to this so I just grumbled my way through. Usually I would just scoop the cockles out and literally dip the meat in the dipping sauce. No fuss, easy peasy. But yeah, doing this because it's trendy and I'm a trendy person but yeah. Who, who thought of this? Who? This is stupid. Why am I doing this? Why? And yeah, pour the sauce over the cockles and ta-da, pretty presentation. Just to make it prettier, I'm going to add some of the uh, shrimps on the side, like this. Ta-da, and you're done! Whee! This is my go-to dipping sauce recipe and it's just one of those sauces that's a true crowd pleaser especially at steamboats, family gatherings, potlucks, um, dates, job interviews, therapy sessions, um, etc. You get it so yeah, enjoy. Bye!